what is up so welcome to the channel i'm uh rebranding my channel here just kind of gonna do car stuff on it figured i would go over this being the first car um this is the audi a4 i picked up it's 2006 it's a 2.0 t quattro i picked it up for pretty cheap because the previous shop that worked on it didn't know what was wrong with it couldn't figure it out um they replaced the turbo so it's got actually a brand new turbo on it. It's got a brand new high pressure fuel pump, which you can already see is starting to rust. Um, and by brand new, I mean it's a few months old. It's been sitting. Uh, they put it all together, couldn't get it to run without the EPC light on. Come to find out the sensor on the top of the high pressure fuel pump was bad. Uh, this sensor right here. So I replaced this sensor with the one off the old pump that they took off and it solved the problem so replace the fuses replace the relays and got it all running and driving pretty good so i'm um, gonna on it i want to sell this car get rid of it um so i'm gonna put these wheels on it they got better tires on them and i think they'll look better than these black wheels that are on it temporarily so pretty easy day i might i'm gonna have to wash it too because it looks like Anyways, that's pretty much what's going to go on today. So I'll set the camera up here and we'll get the jack out, jack it up, and put some wheels on. Check it for play too while I'm at it. It's probably not a good angle. Let's let you guys out of here. Oh, I'm gonna need a wheel lock key for this. Boom, boom. Let me go grab a wheel lock key real quick. Also, I will have a better camera here. Hopefully the next video I do will have a better camera. I ordered one, it hasn't showed up yet. Um, for anyone wondering, I'm using a Ingersoll Rand. It is a brushless. I guess 10 v 20 series uh, 20 volt motor or battery I'm sorry 20 volt battery on it pretty good little impact it's got multiple settings on the back so it's got hand tight it's got 100 foot pounds half torque and then full torque so it's pretty cool it's good for taking wheels off putting wheels back on I'm hoping the hub center is the same on these. I think Volkswagen Audi is the same, but I'm not sure actually. Uh, looks like they're not. Oh, never mind. It's got hub center rings on it. Take those off and see how it fits now. Oh, perfect. Like a glove. So I'll get this wheel lock back on. I actually have the tool to to mount these wheels easier I'm just so used to not using it that I don't even mess with it which is kind of funny Alright, 
tires on these wheels aren't too bad. I just, the tires are uh, staggered. And it's not really ideal for an Audi to be running staggered wheels. Um, it's not really a bad thing. I just, um, I'd rather not, especially since I'm selling the car. I need to grab another tool. Wait a second. This hub centering ring is kind of crusty. Had to this. Grab another wheel. Just kind of show you what we're working with here. So the tread on it's pretty good. Let's see how, how far my finger goes down in there. It's a pretty good tread. Um, inside here it looks pretty good. Brakes are about, huh, I'd say probably another 15,000 miles. Probably need rear brakes, but. General maintenance probably for the next person. But I will let them know. Because I am not a scumbag. Alright, one side down. I will say the offset on these is absolutely horrible. It's got plenty of clearance back there, but it is in there. It's some bad offset, especially compared to the front. All right, two wheels down, two to go. Not a good view for you there. Hopefully that's a little better. Um, these wheels are on the car or just a set of spares I had, rollers. Um, the friend that sold me the car wanted to keep the wheels on it because it was a set of Alzors. Not that those are really a great brand, but they are worth more than scrap value on the car. Looks like Ryan's home. No, you're good right there. Okay. Doing it for the children. Yeah, I picked the name last night for the channel, and uh, the name I came up with. Devin's Dirty Dogs? No. I really assumed that it would have been taken, or taken mm -hmm. but uh, it's not. And the name of the channel now is Useless Builds. Hmm, okay. No dashes just, or nothing. I would have assumed that would have been gone. Yeah, I really, me too. But <laughs> like that just sounds like a yeah something that would be like one of the first. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy cow! It's time for repair on it. And she's got air in her right now. She is. Wanting to give now up on life. Let me go grab that other wheel. Um, let's check what it's supposed to be. I guess I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know to the people that don't. So, most car manufacturers have tire specs inside the door here. <clears throat> Focus. Maybe. All right. Well, it looks like it is 36. I'm going to go with. That's for full occupancy of the car. And since I weigh as much as two people, I should be fine. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm not going to
I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going not terrible. They're decent looking set of wheels. I think the gray looks pretty good with the the white, so definitely doesn't look as good as the van or the Jetta, but you know, not terrible. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to condense this video down because I'm not gonna upload a 30 minute video, but that's pretty much it. I just need to drive the car and make sure it's good and, um, you know, safe to sell to someone. I'm still looking for that upper plastic piece there. The car came without it. It didn't have the wipers. It didn't have the ECU box there. Uh, or a battery. So, I got the right battery for this car. I found that piece over there. I also found this piece and that piece. Those were missing. The engine cover was missing. I got that. Uh, the dipstick was broken, so I replaced that. And that's just a few of the things I did. Um, but, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty solid car all around. It'll be a good daily for somebody. Oh, you know what? I'm sure you guys actually want to see the mileage. So let's do that. So, turning on, that's super rare to be honest, how good a shape that display is. These displays right here, man they are known for going bad and anybody with an Audi can definitely tell you that. You can tell I replaced the battery because I haven't set the date on it. Um, but yeah, runs, idles pretty well. No lights on the dash. It's driven two miles since I put the new battery in it, so obviously hasn't been driven enough. Um, I'm not sure. I've never actually messed with these. What's, uh, what's all this? Oh, the, t the time. What's today? I don't, I don't care about what time it is. What is? We're gonna go with April. Well, that'll tell you how old this video is. April nineteenth, two thousand and twenty-three. And I'm not exactly sure what the time is, but it's not that far off to be real. Um. Everything in here works pretty good. Aside from the uh, the ants crawling around, who's never gonna say never? I'm never gonna quit. Um, you're not gonna find somebody who works harder. I promise you that. You okay. it, you're not the biggest. And oh, a lot of these criticisms, it's oh, well. undersized for the NFL. City air conditioning. The way that you're defined and why you're going to be able to keep on fighting through what people say, oh, you're not big enough to play in the NFL. Oh, it does have the quattro aluminum trim all the way around. Oh, that is. Very warm. I also have the entire motor. It's already pre assembled, it's got a head gasket spacer on it, so. That'll be another video when we get to it. This is a drift car, by the way. Um, it's kind of covered up, but it's got, you know, an actual seat in it, uh, a wheel, welded diff, uh, full suspension, all mounts, 
uh, M3 exhaust with a muffler delete, long tube headers, intake, tune. It's yeah, it's, it's just a full blown drift car. It's just pretty much fun. The only thing it doesn't have is like an expensive can or uh, angle kit. It does have a cheap angle kit. You can, can kind of tell by how bad my wheels stick out on the bottom. Um, the camber on it's pretty pretty egregious in my opinion, but it's a drift car. That's what it's all about. Uh, I also got you know some motorcycle projects back in here that I will get to and work on. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment if you like what you saw and you want to see some more stuff. Let me know. I got tons of projects out here to do things on. Uh, if people want to see me do special things, I am a Volkswagen tech. I've been working on Volkswagens for a long time now, so I know a lot of Volkswagen and Audis pretty well. Um, like I said, the two parts cars there, they're actually for my Mark IV. I'm doing a 07K swap on, and that will be probably a couple years down the road. There, down the road, there's no rush on that. So, this is Devin with Useless Builds, and I'm out.